What's up, people? Back here with a review. Um, if you look back at my previous videos, um, I have a review of my Hewlett Packard uh, NVM6, and it's the N113DX version. There's a P113DX. Uh, there's a couple of other um, HP NVM6 laptops. This one has the AMD, um, it has the CompuCore, I don't know if you can see that. Um, considered a Kavari style AMD, I don't know if that means anything to some people, but it's the AMD uh, FX7500. This has 10 cores, uh, 6 GPU, 4 CPU. Uh, I don't really use this thing for gaming. But I did recently max this thing out. Um, 16 gigs was the the maximum for this thing, and that's what I have for it now. <clears throat> um, I do video editing for my YouTube videos on here. I have Lightworks on here. Um, I don't really can't really use it that good yet. I'm still using Movie Maker. Let me see if I can get that focus. I'm still using Movie Ma uh, Movie Maker for Windows because I can. I can navigate with that real easily. Um, you know, doing basic stuff like I do, I either use my phone, which is which I'm recording on now. Um, but I put the 16 gig um, memory in it. It's Viper, uh, 16 megahertz, CL9 latency. Um, you know, two eight gig sticks. Uh, Patriot Viper. I uh, hope I'm saying that right. But it's been a good RAM. I mean, this computer really live, livened up. Um, I'm still getting hiccups. I don't know when I go to do my time lapse and I, no matter what video editing um, software I use, it seems like it heats up. So when I do the final product of the video, there's like a it, it kind of like it goes and it stops goes and stops goes and stops it keeps on doing it um i don't know what's going on with it um but i thought after putting the 16 gig gigs in it it was going to work um just fine but i know it's out of date because every 18 months there's something out there uh, plugged in my hard drive here um, Hopefully I can let y'all see what I'm talking about Let's see here Thing snappy it does what it's supposed to do it does it real fast the simple stuff uh, it's the Stuff that I need it to do that it's not doing uh, Let's see here He picked something here Okay, so I'm gonna let that load up. It's just a 10 minute segment video. But other than that, I mean, these programs run good. Browsing runs good. Music, perfect. This is the one with Beats Audio. So it does sound pretty good too. Um, this, this goes from 2.1 to 3.3 .3 megahertz turbo core. Um, I don't know if that's a drawback for it, but I do have a a friend with the AMD version of this one. This is the 15.6 touchscreen, which I can care less about having a touchscreen uh, on my laptop because I hate I hate getting fingerprints on my on my stuff. So yeah, as you can see, it's 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 pretty responsive. Um, but it's, it's when, I don't know if I'm not letting things sit long enough. It used to do just fine. As you can see, when you use a movie maker, it takes, for one 10 minute video, it's taking it this long to get that far. I don't know what's going on. I don't have any video settings. Uh, I don't have the full capacity of this thing on completely. Um, let's go into overdrive. Like I said, this thing performs very, very good. Um, 
don't know what all these numbers mean to you. Um, but as you can see, it's a 7500 Radeon R7. And uh, I mean, this is an old laptop now. Uh, it wasn't old when I got it. Got it last year, around, I want to say around June ish, July ish. Um, maybe a little bit older than that. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's going on with it. That's just one stick there. As you can see, it's a 1600 and CL9, like I said. Um, so yeah, it, it's, it's kind of out of date now because we're going into 2017. Um, I will be probably getting a, another one, probably an iPad or some type of Windows Surface because I, I really have no need for all of this. I do love the the keyboard. I can turn it on and off. Um, touch screen, I can care less about. I like having a clean screen. So, but yeah, the backlit, that's, that was my highlight of having this thing. So, yeah, I have a Samsung 850 Pro, 128 gig, solid state drive in here. Um, so you, you would figure that this thing would be, I mean, no matter what I threw at it, as basic as it is, you'd think it would just do it. Like, see, look, I mean, look at that. I mean, look how fast that is. It's probably a little bit slower on the video. It's flying here, though. Um, so, yeah, I have that there. Um, it's still loading up that video. So I'm not going to make you guys wait through it. I'm going to pause it right here. Okay, people, so it's done loading. Uh, I'm just going to show you a clip here of what I try to do. Um, I do a lot of time lapse, so I'm going to bring it up to 16. And you, of course, you see it slows it down, it, you know, it does this thing. I don't see any loading here at all. So, here's what we're going to do I'm going to go ahead and play it. see that I don't know what that is why it does it um, I don't know if I don't give it enough time I don't know if anybody knows leave me a comment excuse the traffic here it's so loud um, but yeah so that's I, I still don't understand why it does that and even when I go ahead and, and produce the video it keeps on doing that um, this thing like I said it's maxed out 16 gigs 1600 megahertz 16 gigs is plenty um, let me stop this right here and show you I have the 850 Pro and here's my times um, on here let me do one here. I'm going to start it. Uh, there was this thing that when Samsung Musician uploaded, I mean, uh, updated it. I was on the old mode before, when I had the same solid state in here before. It would let me do rapid mode. I don't know what that helps or not. But now, since I've upgraded it with the RAM, it says it's not. Uh, able to use rapid mode so um, I had an OCZ Vector 180 solid state in here the 240 gigabyte version and I wasn't even getting this good of times I don't I don't know I don't understand why of writes and reads I don't understand why I was getting that less so yeah I, I ran between 530 540 reads and um, I mean really my writes go from low 400s all the way up to high 400s. Um, no, I don't know if that's good or bad. I'm pretty sure it's good because it still looks better than what I had. Um, system compatibility. That says rapid mode cannot be enabled. When it used to be enabled, I have a you know same computer. I don't get it. Um, so, I, I mean, I have the 850 Pro, as you can see here. 
And I got the running the latest version. And all that. So, it's, it's whatever. It runs fine. Like I said, it's that thing that's annoying for me. Um, during my time lapse. Let me run it again and see what it does. Still doing the same thing. But watch this. I'll put it down to eight. And it's smooth. I do not get it. Eight is fine. And I guess you could say that's good enough. This is a free software. I guess you could say it's good enough, but I used to run 16 all the time and had no issues. So I, I'm just just curious to why this thing being upgraded like it is. It, it's pretty much the beefiest computer I have in here in my house. Um, so anybody know what that is? Please let me know. But um, if I have if I put a whole bunch of cuts and transitions in here, that's the same thing um, on 16. But if I have it on eight, I'm fine. Completely fine. I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't get it. But, um, it's been a very good laptop. Um, using my performance MX uh, mouse, of course, I would use it with this. Um, perfectly fine. And, and also, this is coming off of a hard drive. Uh, I've put the video on the solid state and ran it from it. Same thing same result so you know it is what it is but yeah it, it's it's been a good computer i recommend if you can find one for a good price i think they're still going for like five or six hundred dollars for this one um you know non-upgraded came with a 5400 uh 320 gig hard drive i think it was changed because it's supposed to have been a 760 if i'm not 720 i think is what it was should have been but it was still a 5400 rpm hard drive so it was really holding this thing back um and you know six gigs was in it so i went ahead and put an extra two gigs in it and made it eight and now i have 16 and it's running really fast on something and running worse on what i needed to do as far as the video editing go uh, if you guys know a program that runs fine um i've tried them all i tried Sony, I've tried Cyberlink, Power Director, I tried Lightworks, uh, Shotcut, um, and I think Da Vinci is the one I'm going to try next. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end this video here. You guys, let me know if you have any questions, and um, I'll keep you updated and I'll respond to you, you know, as soon as I can. All right. You guys have a good one. Peace.